Hello everyone. This is the first question of exercise 12.1 of class 7th NCRT. The chapter is algebraic expressions. And the first question says that write algebraic expression in the following cases. And we are given 8 parts of it. Means there are 8 conditions. And we have to write the corresponding algebraic expression. So let's see the first part. It says that subtraction of z from y. Now what does this mean that? That this means that subtraction of z, that means it will be minus z from y, so it will be y minus z. It is similar like if you say you got 80 out of 100. So it's like the similar thing. So in part 2 it says that one half of sum of numbers x and y. So in second part it says that one half means 1 by 2. Then of means multiplication, so it's multiplication. Sum of numbers x and y, so x plus y. Basically, we can break down these statements in different parts and then we can solve them. So part 3 says, the number z multiplied by itself. That means z multiplied by z. So we can write this this way or we can write it like z square. They mean one and the same things. This is in exponential form and this is in normal form. So part 4. One fourth of the product of number P and Q. One fourth of means multiplication. Product of number P and Q. That means P, Q. So this is the answer. Now part 5. Number X and Y both squared and added. So what is the square of X? That will be X square. The square of y, that will be y square and they both are squared and added. That's why we'll have a plus sign there. Now, part 6 says, number 5 added to 3 times the product of m and n. So, this is part 6 and it says that 5 added to means plus 5. 3 times, 3 times means and the product of m and n. So, 3 times the product of m and n and we add 5 to it. So, this is the answer. Now, part 7, it says product of number y and z subtracted from 10. So, basically the product of y and z is yz and it is subtracted from 10. So, that is 10 minus yz. And the last part says that sum of number a and b subtracted from their product. So, sum of numbers a and b is a plus b. Their product is a, b. And the sum will be subtracted from product means product will come first minus a plus b. So, this is, these are the answers there for the, these 8 parts. This is how you can solve this question. Thank you.